Hi everyone, it's Renee. I'm checking in for my T25 challenge. I'm ending week four. Um, so far, I've lost a total of 10 pounds since starting, um, you know, the beginning of the month. I'm excited about that. I've lost inches off my waist, off my hips. Uh, so I'm coming down and um, getting into, I have a closet full of clothes to get into, so I'm getting back into my clothes. So I'm excited about that. But what I want to uh, share um, part of my personal story, um, ever since a teenager, um, up until now, I'm 50 now, I've struggled with losing weight. And over the years, I have um, done different things. I've, I've taken diet pills. I've done Nutrisystem, Weight Watchers, um, Slim Fast. I've done, um, I've had the gastric bypass surgery um, and the gastric bypass surgery, even though I had the surgery and I lost over a hundred pounds, I've gained back half of it. And so that's what I'm trying to get back off now, the, the pounds, the weight that I gained. Um, but, um, your stomach is smaller. You do eat smaller sizes. You can't overeat. If you do, you get sick. Different people have different results. So I'm just sharing my results. Um, one of the things is that um, I lost all the weight, but then you lose it so rapidly that your skin doesn't have time. So I will always have flabby arms, and that was kind of um, devastating, um, you know, to have flabby skin afterwards. And, you know, you can go through another stage of having surgery and having your, you know, tummy tucked and all that. I didn't want to have any more surgeries. I was done. Um, so definitely, you know, I work, I'm working out now with weights and not with the T25 and it's probably part of the next segment uh, where they pull out the weights, but you know, I do what I can to form up my arms, but I've come to the part in my point in my life where I accept I can't wear a tank top. So that's the only reason why I'm in a tank top today so that I could show and share that part with you. But it comes 360, a full 360 that you have to eat clean. You have to exercise you have to drink your water. I mean, you have to do those things to uh, lose the weight. Um, I like how it's consistently every week there's something off. And once I get to my goal, that was another mistake in, that I had, that once I got to my goal, I stopped, dropped, and went back to my old eating habits. And that can't happen because you end up up and down, up and down with the weight. And so I'm definitely determined that my next 50 years is going to be... Um, a new lifestyle. Um, I want to see my grandchildren one day and, you know, I want to be healthy and vibrant. And so these are the steps that I'm taking to accomplish that. And so I just wanted to share a little piece of myself and it's Saturday, it's the weekend. Um, and I want you to enjoy your weekend. Um, but let's not ruin all our progress that we made for the week by, um, going out and eating at restaurants and, you know, cake and cookies and ice cream and the things that you struggle with that puts the weight on you. And so I encourage you to uh, keep the pace. Last week I went to my niece's birthday party and I bought my own food. At first I was stressing, like, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? And I was like, just pack your lunch. And I did. I packed my lunch for the day because I knew I had to go to church. And after church, we had to go pick up her gift. And after that, then we had to go to the skating rink. And then after that, we went to the house. And that's where the food was. And they had food at the skating rink, too. But I had enough food to sustain me that I could stay on pace, stay on course. And, you know, celebrations, you know, it is okay to have a slice of cake. I mean, that doesn't ruin it. But you don't want to keep eating things that do not enhance or promote your weight loss. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. See you next week. Bye.